Hey, it's Buzz with Pickleball Buzz. Thanks for joining me for another episode here on the channel. I was recently at the Peachtree Classic, a PPA stop on their tour, and uh, had the good fortune of meeting Kevin Huckle, who's CEO of a company called Tyrol, who make a specific shoe for pickleball players. And uh, it's quite innovative and really uh, unbelievable construction. And without further ado, here's my interview with Kevin Huckle, CEO of Tyrol. Enjoy. Hey, this is Buzz with Pickleball Buzz here at the Peachtree Classic uh, held right around the Atlanta area. It is a beautiful Friday and I'm here with none other than Kevin Huckle who is the CEO of Tyrol who makes a wonderful shoe and we're going to talk all about them. And shoes are a big important thing for all you players out there because you know you want stability, comfort and uh, coolness so that uh, your feet don't feel like they're on fire. And we've got just the thing for you and Kevin's going to tell you all about it more than I am. Welcome to the show, Kevin. I'm glad you're with us. Thanks, Buzz. Great to be here yeah yeah great day for uh, pickleball huh? oh man this is some weather yeah yep well this company has quite a history but uh, you know that notwithstanding you got quite a shoe here right well we've worked hard and uh, being players ourselves we've designed a shoe that uh, meets the kinetic movement of the court or the people on the court sure and uh, we've really tried to focus on on those issues yeah know. yep well certainly all of you out there go through a lot of equipment and we know that but shoes are a major major part of your game if you don't have the right stability the right foot uh, Lord knows you could fall over and have all kinds of other things. So this is a really a great uh, you know segment we're going to do on the show here to talk all about why these shoes really stand out in the marketplace as it comes to pickleball and uh, keeping you safe. So let's talk about uh, just the baseline of what makes the shoe really what it is. Well, what we really focused on, Buzz, was uh, playing stability. We really wanted to ba build a playing platform mm. that people could uh, comfortably go out and play, play the sport they love, spend hours on the court without their feet hurting and without getting into serious trip, slips and fall type sure. injuries. Right. Uh, we really focused on the playing platform. We built a, a, an EVA and Phylon midsole at about a 60 durometer, which is a, the ultimate uh, density, basically, to have both performance and comfort so not uh, too heavy not too thick no all that right and, and very light and, yeah. and that you know that's the other uh, issue that we're always dealing with mm -hmm. um, the, the midsole we, we put a, uh, a, a PVC uh, piece a stability piece right. that really adds torsion control yeah it's transparent um, or it, it, it's like a graphite type design nice. but it's a, it's a it's a plastic material and that really leads right into the exterior heel counter so mm -hmm. what that does is that gives us the shoe extra stability on the court so when you're moving laterally to play the ball mm -hmm you're not going to turn over in these shoes. Great. And, and that's really a safety item that yep. was kind of our, our whole mission was to make sure that we built the, the, the best playing platform that a, a player can, can sure. achieve on the court. And if you've ever had an ankle rollover, and we all have had those from time to time, there's nothing worse than that. And it's hard to recover well, from. I've seen some, some awful falls on the court sure. where people catch an edge or, or they roll over on their, on their ankle. Mm -hmm. And um, watching uh, anybody, but... You know, if you're looking at a 65-year-old woman uh, falling, it's not it's it's not fun. Sure. And, and and it's a lot of injuries can be prevented if the right right footwear are in place. Yeah, and that's the thing is that this is an investment actually in your health as well as it is just having good foot stability. Because if you do fall, and you do roll over. It's not just the ankle that gets hurt because you can hurt oh. a lot of other things. Uh, have a collar or the a last, shoulder. The last fall I saw was a broken hip. Is that and, right? And so and yeah, we don't fun. want that. Yeah. So I noticed uh, a trademark here on the side. Talk a little bit about what that is. Well. It, the ironic thing is our first uh, edition of our shoes, we found that this silica grit hot playing surfaces ripped through rubber and uh, our shoes did not stand up well. We replaced a lot of shoes, cost me a lot of money, but we stood behind our product and we looked after our consumer. But really reached out to our friends at Vibram. Uh, nice. Bill Ells is, a, is a, a friend of mine. He's the VP of, of Vibram. Nice. I called him and he said, man, what are you guys doing with these shoes? You know, when I send them our shoes. <laughs> yeah. And they they built a, a specific compound uh, for us. Really? And, wow. and so uh, it's really designed for hot silica grit surfaces. Wow. Uh, the, the durability on these shoes is second to none. Yeah. And Vibram is the best brand in outsole materials and, sure. and uh, uh, material suppliers well, I think back in our in the, industry. Back in the day, we saw them on hiking shoes pretty much, right? Hi I mean, hiking shoes. We yeah. used to use them on military footwear. Right, uh, right. And, yeah. and it's, a, it's a premier product. So needless sure. to say, these guys know what they're doing. Yeah, right? the only problem is they're always too expensive. So. <laughs> <laughs> but such is not the case with no, these sneakers. Well, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's you know, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's, uh, that's kind of what we looked at. We, right. wanted, we want to use premier materials in our products. So, so these, these materials that they developed for you uh, really 
take on the grittiness of these courts, uh, which act like sandpaper pretty much, and and really wear well with it, right? Yeah, and and we've also uh, really we we changed a, a, an outsole design to the herringbone pattern, which is probably your best stable playing platform that you can come up with yeah, as far as traction and traction and and durability. Yeah, so I see that it's a rick rack type of things for for really gripping, grabbing, uh, you know the. It's good as, as it's as strong, it's as stable on lateral movement as in forward movement, and that's really the issue on, on the on the court. Absolutely, so. absolutely, and um, so these are distributed or available through. Just well, about everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. We're we're scaling as a company. Yeah. We're a startup company, and it's uh, this is a tough business. We're out there competing with the big boys, and, sure. and uh, they've got big fat paychecks that they can <laughs> throw around, and we don't. Absolutely. But uh, it's a uh, hey, you're lean it, and mean. No, we're lean and mean, and we're very passionate very about good. what we build, very, and and that's really what we've bring to this marketplace. We yeah. want to bring a a, a premier product that uh, works to everyone's benefit. Great. So these are available through what principles? Through uh, through sources? Pickleball Central, Pickleball through Central. Um, Tennis Warehouse, through uh, we've got a number of uh, sporting goods stores that are Great. starting to come on stream. We're, we're in the process of really scaling our brand. Uh, we have our own website, uh, TyrollPickleball.com. So if somebody wants to order directly, you'll that's good too, We right? can do that yeah. and uh, we can also fulfill through pro shops. You know, there's a number of pro shops around uh, the country now that are bringing on the shoes. Nice. Uh, Holabird Sports in, uh, in uh, Baltimore a good mail order company yep, as well. Um, so we've got we, we're starting to get some really good distribution in Canada. We have Racket guys and cool. uh, Pickleball Depot, and uh, it's expanding. Yeah, and no. every week it's it's getting a little bit bigger. Boy, it's uh, it's hard to get the the traction, but uh, certainly you got a great product, and I know it's going to do really really well out there. If you're interested in shoes, uh, like Kevin's talking about, you need to kind of go to these different sites. Whether you go to Pickleball Central or uh, any but you know other one that you're interested in, or go right to the Tyrol site and order them uh, they'll be happy to accommodate you and uh, any I know we're coming into fall and winter which means holidays anything going to be happening over the next few months for promotions I'm or? just scrambling to get shoes yeah. like it's like everyone with supply chain hey, issues that's it's been it's been a real challenge yeah, in the last the last couple of years is a, it's a dog fight to see what you know sure. what you can get on uh, on ships and whatnot but uh, we've uh, we've moved our production out of China into Bangladesh nice uh, it's worked really well for us they're great partners um, our Quality levels have actually gotten better, and we, we now are starting to get solid delivery uh, times and quotations. So uh, we've got a lot of shoes coming. We've got uh, thousands of pairs that are literally uh, on ocean vessels as we speak. Beautiful. So so we're we're gearing up for the holiday season. Yeah. Well, it sounds like being it's mid September, you'll be all set to go uh, in the late fall here. We're going to be ready big time yep. by mid mid October. And that means uh, you probably want to get your orders in now if you have uh, the uh, inclination to buy because then that way when they get here, you'll get them. Absolutely. Kevin, I can't thank you enough for spending some time with us here on the show. Oh, and uh, really an education uh, on the shows. And uh, I know that uh, you're going to have great success with them. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, Buzz. been I a real pleasure. It. Yeah. Thank you, man. Take hey, care. stay tuned for more here on Pickleball Buzz. We'll be back on the air from here, from Peachtree City, uh, for the PPA tournament. And we'll be looking forward to talking to you again soon. Stay tuned. My thanks once again to Kevin Huckle, CEO of Tyrol Shoes. If you are looking for a good shoe and who isn't uh, for comfort stability and breathability uh, they've made this the best of breed I am not kidding you uh, Kevin has actually done you one better he is going to give you a discount to uh, enjoy these great shoes uh, if you go over to tyrollpickleball.com tyrollpickleball.com and use the discount code tyrollvip22 that's T-Y-R-O-L-V-I-P-22, uh, all in caps, it looks like. Uh, you will enjoy a wonderful discount from Kevin uh, over there, and uh, you'll be enjoying the best shoe on the courts. Uh, thanks again for joining me, and look forward to talking to you again soon.